certainly nothing new in uh, the state of Illinois. In the book, Lynn Small, Governors and Gangsters, author Jim Ridings details the life of Governor Small, who was considered the most corrupt of all state's leaders. Here's the author, Jim Ridings. Thanks for being with us. And after thumbing through this book, I couldn't possibly argue with you. This guy makes current crooked politicians look like choir boys. Oh, he does. And no, no doubt. Why has this story never been told before? Well, uh, he did go on trial for embezzling over a million dollars from the state, but he was acquitted. So I think that sort of gives him a pass with historians uh, over the, the, the uh, length of time. Mm -hmm. However, he was only acquitted because Al Capone's hoodlums bribed the jury. <laughs> let's, let's, start, let's start in 1904. Okay. He was elected state treasurer. Yes. And he was, according to your book, embezzling money then. Oh, yeah. Well, he was keeping the interest on the state deposits. Well, okay. Uh, which was kind of uh, uh, a gray area at that time. It wasn't uh, uh, Really? That was not particularly against the law? No, it wasn't at that time. But when he left office, they passed a law to, to prevent that from happening again. Uh-huh. Well, uh, he, but he did manage, he pocketed $200,000. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. And his brother, about that time, was elected to a judgeship. Yes, he was. And that made for a very cozy, convenient relationship, didn't it, with, uh, with regard to his connection to the Illinois Central Railroad? Uh, well, he, was, he had been appointed a judge, and when he uh, uh, ran for the office outright, um, mm -hmm. uh, Len Small went to the Illinois Central and said, if you back John Small, uh, and help him get elected, and then Judge Small will fix all the cases uh, that come up, all the wid widows and orphans that, that are uh, suing, yeah, yeah. Uh, will fix your case. Fortunately, John Small did not win that election. He had some pretty nefarious political connections, did he not? Yes, Including he did. an endorsement from the Ku Klux Klan? Yes, he did. Um, <laughs> he, uh, as governor, he let the Klan use state facilities, the state fairgrounds, uh, and they endorsed his every single campaign. Uh, there's a there, shot of the Klan right there that, from your book. Uh, he also had connections to Al Capone and the Chicago mob. Allegedly. Yes, he did. And that was uh, in his connection to Chicago Mayor Big Bill Thompson, who was probably the most corrupt mayor Chicago has had. Mm -hmm. um, they were in league with Al Capone. Um, in the mayor's office, mm -hmm. Big Bill Thompson had a portrait of Al Capone on his wall. And in Capone's headquarters in the uh, Lexington Hotel, he had a portrait of Big Bill Thompson on his wall. And Thompson might be the most notorious uh, oh, yeah. mayor in the history history mm -hmm. of Chicago. Uh, let's let's move forward to the point where he got elected governor in uh, what was it, 1921? 1920. Right? Yeah. He won. 1920. And almost from the from the get go, uh, there were a lot of folks who were on to uh, Governor Small, mm -hmm. and uh, an investigation was was begun, and uh, and and he was ch criminally charged. Yes, he was. Uh, he was charged. Uh, he had uh, deposited half of the state's funds in one bank. The problem was that bank did not exist. <laughs> the bank did not exist. It was called the Grant Park Bank, and it did not exist. It, it, it uh, was just a sham right. so that he could loan the money out. He loaned right. it out at 8%, paid the state 2%. That's a good deal. Now, yeah. we're just about out of time, but, but he invoked an unbelievably audacious defense in yes, that he trial. Did. Yes, Tell he me, did. what was that defense? Well, he had a number of lawyers on the staff, including one of Al Capone's uh, lawyers, mm -hmm. and also a former governor uh, was one of his uh, lawyers, too, Joseph Pfeiffer. But, but he invoked they, the divine right of kings? Yes. They, they said that as governor, he could not be prosecuted because he was above the, the law. And they invo uh, invoked the di di uh, divine right of kings, uh, and their quote was, the king can do no wrong. Um, that doesn't work in Illinois. No, and he also, according to your book, sold thousands of pardons and parole. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, via the uh, uh, connections to uh, Capone and, and other mobsters, uh, one of the uh, worst pardons was to... Uh, uh, Harry Guzik, who ran the houses of prostitution for the Co Capone mob, he was convicted of uh, kidnapping a young woman and forcing her into uh, a life of prostitution. Uh, both right. he and his wife were convicted of that. They didn't spend one day in jail because okay. Governor Small pardoned them. My goodness. You know, uh, if, if you think you've seen corruption in Illinois in uh, this era, mm -hmm. take a look at this book, you'll be shocked. Uh, Jim Writing, signing books Wednesday from 2 to 3 o'clock at the Walgreens at uh, 1050 North Kennedy Drive in the hometown yes. of uh, Governor Small, Kankakee. Thanks so much for being with us. Coming up next for your midday fix, the Chicago Philharmonic, and then Tom Skilling has your forecast. And at noon, when Chicago residents may get fast wireless 
Internet access around the city really fast. 